we've been working with TAMO and of course with KMD, Kenya Meteorological Department and others on training and to build capacity on how we can help our stakeholders in Africa to be able to um, get much more um, capacity on adaptation tools and insurance is one of them. How farmers, how the stakeholders, how last stockholders can be better uh, equipped with a mechanism on insurance so that they are insured against as a risk uh, mitigating measures on climate risk. This workshop is a training for um, meteorological experts and some insurance experts and, and different groups on these two topics, the two topics yeah, being insurance and anticipatory action, and are connected because you both have to, for both of them, you have to understand the issues related to droughts or floods and how those harm people and what resources you need to prevent that harm or to address that harm. We are working in collaboration with AAI, Africa Adaptation Initiative to work on this. So um, we are focusing on do a deep dive in three countries. Kenya, we've, we picked Kenya. In East Africa, we picked Madagascar in Southern African region, and we picked Cote d'Ivoire in West African region. So we have three <clears throat> different types of training. One is on how to build dashboard. That's what we, the focus we had in Cote d'Ivoire. In Madagascar, the focus on how do we help to build capacity uh, on uh, early, um, early warning systems so that people can take preoperative measures. And the third, this focusing on insurance. How do we help farmers and herders and stakeholders uh, to have that kind of insulate themselves and to be able to adapt to the challenges of, of, of climate change. In this workshop, we um, create uh, tools for the participants, uh, which are meteorological institutions of the, the various countries, uh, to do their own uh, weather and climate services. And these can range from various applications, uh, from early warning to statistical analysis of historic data, to also uh, risk insurances. Um, and we have created uh, Python scripts and, uh, and different toolings for them to access the rich data sources that are all available online for their countries. I think the training objectives in, in this um, workshop were to have people be familiar with the tools used and the key decisions and how to use the different kinds of information, how to develop the tools for their own needs, both the dashboards and the, you know, the computer tools and the interactive tools. And I think people have been able to utilize a lot of the tools, understand how they relate to their um, the the clientele that they serve, and and are identifying how to how to tailor them for for their project. Of course, the first challenge is to really get used to working with the coding. Although uh, we've noted that many of the participants have already some experience, but uh, the different there's a difference between people, how much experience they are. Um, but that went really well. And the second uh, challenge is the interpretation of what you see. Because you have a lot of information that is available online from forecasts to observations, but you always have to be very critical on what we are seeing, what is the data telling us, and what can we conclude from that. I enrolled uh, basically to be trained on improving dashboards. Uh, we have several dashboards at IFPAC. Uh, one of them is East Africa Hazards Watch, uh, which shows the hazards within the East Africa region. So we wanted to also um, incorporate station data uh, from TAMO and member states. And uh, this training has been instrumental in uh, adding more knowledge for us uh, so that we can improve that system. As metrologists, in Kenya our mandate is only to focus on the weather. But there's need of also going to impact base forecast, where we actually know the impact of severe weather. Then out of this impact of severe weather, what we have learned today, the third workshop was more related to insurance, how they can help farmers to ensure 
their livestock, their crops, with regard to all the meteorological weather phenomena that can impact them negatively. So it is a wholesome process. I have been particularly impressed by the insurance bit. Um, it has answered a lot of questions that we had, especially when communicating with farmers and pastoralists, just trying to sell the idea to them. So the way it was presented has come out more clearly, and now I'm sure I can explain to someone who hasn't heard about it and explain to them the value of insurance to someone who relies on weather for their livelihood. We have done this training, we have learned some lessons, so we're going to package these lessons together, working with TAMO, working with the other organizations, to be able to now come up with some key sort of curriculum or course. And then we extend this, we organize a training that will benefit other African countries beyond these three countries. Uh, we are very grateful for this opportunity and we hope to get more and more of this training because it actually opens our minds to a lot of what is out there in terms of what we give to our users. It has given us more knowledge and more talking points to help the Kenyan people to do better.